Hey everybody, I hope you've been enjoying our Thieves the Day series this month and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite Thieves DIYs and that is DIY Thieves Wipes. Um, so you probably have had a little bit of trouble finding uh, disinfectant wipes at the store of these days because every time people start panic buying that's one of the first things that goes. Um, so I'm really excited to have um, a DIY that I can make these wipes at home and know that they're not full of toxic chemicals and things like that that are bad for our family anyway. So um, just really quickly, the things that you'll need um, is a container for your wipes. Um, I recommend a glass container and um, this actually will provide me an opportunity to uh, give you a little bit of a teaching moment. So this is my wipes container that I got when I first um, started making these wipes and it's plastic. And I thought, oh, it'll be fine. It's heavy duty, it's good. Um, but oils do break down plastics. And as much as I was skeptical about that, you can see that it has started to happen there. You see the, the white where the oils are starting to actually break it down. So while I'm gonna be using this today, I recommend that you buy a glass container like this one. Um, you can find these on Amazon and I'll make sure to put the links in the post. Um, and so you'll need a container for your wipes, get, get a glass one. Uh, otherwise, like me, you're gonna have to go buy a new one uh, to replace your cute one. Um, you need Thieves Household Cleaner. And then you need, uh, I'm gonna, you can use really whatever oils you want. I'm gonna use lemon because lemon is really good for cutting through sticky messes and grease. And most of the time, these wipes are uh, what I use to clean my kitchen. So they work really good for helping to break down kitchen sticky, yucky messes. Um, purification is also a good option. Um, you can use pine if you love the smell of pine salt uh, or you miss that if that's something that you've ditched and you want to kind of bring that back in. Pine is a great one to use for cleaning. Um, or if you also want to add more thieves, you can just do thieves oil. Um, so we'll be using 10 drops of, uh, I'm going to do purification, lemon, and pine today. Um, then I use, I started out using paper towels, but then I found these wipes on Amazon. Basically, it's a nice, thick, heavy-duty wipe that has a uh, good texture, and they stay together really well, and they come on a roll like this already. So all I have to do is drop this in, and then they pull from the center just like wipes. And they, you can rinse and reuse them. You can... Um, yeah, they just, they hold up really well. If you don't want to buy those on Amazon, and I will provide the link for these as well, you can just take a roll of paper towels and then with a sharp knife and a cutting board, just cut it in half. And then you'll pull out the cardboard tube and those work just as well. But I do find that if you're, you know, trying to wipe down your whole kitchen with a single wipe, those aren't going to hold up. They just aren't strong enough, but these hold up really well. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I've got my container. And basically, I'm just going to add in one and a half to two bottles of bottled water or distilled water if you've got it. I'm gonna start with one and a half and then add in the other half if I need it. Sometimes I, it uh, distributes well on the wipes and sometimes it just isn't enough and I have to add more. That's about a half. Okay. And I'm gonna add just two capfuls of these cleaner. This is really concentrated, so if you wanted to do less, you could. I just like to. And then I'm going to do um, 10 drops of lemon oil. That's why my container is being eaten alive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and I'm going to do um, five of purification and five of pine. I think 20 drops total is more than enough. If you're only doing two oils, then just do 10 of each. Okay. And five drops of pine. Okay. So now I've got my water, I've got my oils, and I've got my cleaner. I'm just gonna give it a little slosh to mix everything all together. And then if you've got the you know pre-rolled wipes, the reusable wipes, then it's just as simple as removing the cardboard tube in the center, which I've already done. Um, it's very easy. There's a little piece of tape that holds the wipes in place, so you wanna make sure to take that off too. And then you just stick it in the container. Try to see if I can hold this up so you can actually see that. 
Um, it just fits perfectly in this container and you just push it down into the liquid and it absorbs all of that. And then put the lid on, these wipes, that's all it takes. And then I like to let this sit and kind of um, distribute the liquid throughout the roll. And then when you're ready to use them, I'll show you with the ones that I already have done. Um, you just pull from the center, just like your regular wipes. This roll's been kind of disturbed because I had to move it into a different container. But yeah, you just pull from the center. They tear off and that's what they look like. They expand pretty big and they have a nice, I don't know if you can see it, a nice texture there to kind of break through crunchy, crusty stuff on your counters. So uh, if you try this, let me know what you think of it in the comments. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments as well. Have a great day.